Hello, it's Lou Collins. I want to show you today how to use the Magnolia Leaf Half Tone Stamp Set and Die Set. They're a combination, they come together, they coordinate beautifully. So if you see the, the large leaf, it perfectly overlays the large leaf stamp there. So you can cut out your stamped image or alternatively, you can just use the stamps or the dies on their own. Lots of different options for that. Now they are quite a modern shape, so you get nice contemporary cards from them, but you can also, of course, use them traditionally for wreaths and borders and things like that. Now the half tone effect is really good fun and it's perfect for stamping. You're going to get shading, texture, uh, depth and dimension with just one impression. I'm going to show you exactly how that works. I'm going to use the larger leaf here um, just because it's easier for you to see how it goes. But there are five different shape and size leaves here and five different dies as well to match the stamps. Now this is all available at the moment on Craft Stash. It's actually just recently launched as I'm filming this, so I can't wait to see if you love the halftone effect as much as I do. So now what I tend to do, uh, my favourite way to use this is to go onto a pale colour cardstock rather than a white. So I'm doing a leaf in green, so I want to go onto a very pale colour green cardstock. You can go onto white if you wish, um, but I just find this gives it a little bit more of a realistic image afterwards. So just picking up the leaf there. Now with any large die I always pick up the edges and drop them down again just to make sure there's no air bubbles trapped under there. And I'm going to take a dark green. So this is a Distress Oxide. I don't usually stamp with oxides because oxides of course are um, known for being water resistant, sorry, water reactive um, and you can get lots of different watercolour type effects with them but they're not always perfect for stamping detail but we're not actually looking for detail here what we're looking for is for the colour to move about a bit and give us lots of different shades and tones so they're perfect for this and this also means I can add water to it as well for even more results in a moment so I'm um, first of all I'm just going to work my way up the stamp just pressing down on the detail there just lift that up and make sure there's no missed areas. There's just one there. So make sure I've got that. There we go. So straight away, you can see how you've actually got darker ends, a paler colour middle. So you've got that shade and tone already. So it looks like the leaf is already curved. So that's perfect. If you want to take that step further, you can just give the stamp a light mist with water. And I would say a light mist. And you can just go back in again with just water on your stamp in the same place this is where a stamping platform comes in perfectly and just press that into the ink and that's just going to help blend everything make it a little bit darker again now taking this off and let's use the coordinating die so popping that on now the beauty of these dies is they are created so that they are edge to edge die cutting so where you've stamped it's going to perfectly cut out for you so I just lift up place it very carefully where I want it and I always use a little bit of tape to hold it still now of course the tape is not essential if you are going to just be die cutting um, from say coloured cardstock and I'll show you some cards with examples of that in a moment but if you are laying it over stamped image it's a really good idea to hold that still with some tape so I'll just cut this out for you now when designing these I also wanted to ensure that um, you were able to move the shape a little bit so you're not fixed on having to have your leaf at this particular curve so for that to happen um, i needed to make sure that the stems were particularly slim to give you some flexibility now while this is really helpful for building your leaf shape up what it also means is that it's a little bit delicate so you just need to be careful when you're popping out you notice i just use my thumbs and i've just popped through the leaves just to release the leaves there. And then I'm just going to very carefully just guide the leaves out. So I'm not rushing it and I'm not forcing it. Um, pop that little bit out there and there you go. So there you have a kind of two tone, um, very dimensional leaf shape cut absolutely perfectly. So that has cut all the way to the edge of the stamping none of that outline that you sometimes get um, so it looks like you've really ink blended and because the stem is so slim as I say you have the flexibility to move this around so you can curve it in a different way if you want to on your project you're not stuck with it having to be at that angle so it's great if you want to say pop it 
around a corner maybe if you want to have it so it's facing the other way you can gently tease it and twist it and move it so it curves around this way there's lots you can do with it um, I hope you love these as much as I do they work with any occasion with any other products as well leaves are so timeless whether it's retirement new baby anniversary weddings birthdays whatever it may be a leaf is just a fantastic item to have in stamp and die form in your craft stash so you can see uh, below the links on where to purchase these uh, and browse the rest of the magnolia drive collection